Wow, this news could have just won Sony next gen. Also, we have another crazy PlayStation 5 patent. So much epic news in one video. Stay tuned. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video you already know give it a thumbs up man wow sony could have possibly just won this generation with this news and i'm gonna explain why i'm gonna talk about the patent and we have tons of information more information on the playstation 5 event that's um already been confirmed for june 4th we're gonna get to all of that but the first thing sony has confirmed that playstation 5 exclusives will not be backwards compatible <coughs> on the PlayStation 4, meaning very likely at the launch of the PlayStation 5, there will be games that can only run and utilize the power of the PlayStation 5. This gives Sony a major, a major advantage at the launch, at the beginning of this generation, and how a console launches plays a big factor in the future success of the console throughout the generation. Usually, the console that starts off the fastest, have the, has the best first year sales, typically wins throughout the rest of the generation. And so, this is why this is a big advantage. PlayStation 5 exclusives don't have to worry about being held back by last gen technology. <coughs> I know you can say, well, the Xbox Series X version will look better than the Xbox One. Yes, it's going to be a higher resolution, possibly higher frame rates, but graphical assets. The, the assets of the game, like the technology, the polygon count, what can be used um, by the true power of the Xbox Series X will never be fully realized as long as you're still trying to make games for the Xbox One. It's just, it's just how it is. And so... I tweeted this out on Twitter. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. That's how you get in the giveaway anyway. Oh, it's the end of the month. June 1st, I'm going to be announcing the winner of a $60 digital code for PlayStation, Xbox, or Nintendo Switch, your console of choice. You just got to be subscribed to this YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. But I posted on Twitter, Sony, the PlayStation 5 could very well be the least powerful console but still have the best looking games. The fact that for the first couple years of the Xbox Series X, Microsoft is still is making all of their exclusives <coughs> compatible throughout all generations um, from the OG Xbox One, it means the games are not going to be at the true potential of the xbox series x hardware it's just the reality of the situation think about it xbox series x is 12 teraflops of computing power i think the og xbox is one teraflop bro and so you try to cover too much in one um uh in one generation bro when you really think about it other than for like fanboys like me, there's no reason to buy an Xbox Series X. Of course, 
I'm excited for the system. I want to see what games the games look like now. I'm not making any more final decisions until I see all the games for the PlayStation, all the games for the Xbox Series X, and then before the fall, I'll make my decision. I'm going to pre-order both consoles just to make sure I'm covered. But what incentive do you have? Xbox has to give people an incentive to spend money on a $400, $500 console. If all of the games are still running on my Xbox One X, there's no real reason to upgrade. The fact that Sony's saying, hey, you are not going to be able to play this brand new IP we're about to show you unless you have a PlayStation 5, it forces you to upgrade. Xbox has to give us a reason, a reason to upgrade consoles. And as of right now, there is none. There is none. And so that's going to give Sony a big advantage at the beginning of this generation. I'm just calling it like it is, bro. All right. Next news item is pretty lit as well. A new patent for a wireless charger for the DualSense 5 <coughs> has been discovered. What it is, when I say a wireless charger, it's something you attach to the back. Let's say you're playing your DualSense 5, and then, oh, you get a battery low notification. You attach this to the back of the DualSense 5, and you can keep playing wirelessly with no wires while it charges that's pretty dope also it seems like the dual set this charger will fit into a base and so when you're done playing you can just put it in a base and recharge your controller i think that's pretty dope one of the things i hate when i'm playing my um um playstation controller whatever controller um playstation controller they need to step up their battery life xbox controller is way better as far as battery life but when I'm playing it, you get the notification, they got to plug it in. Having the wire, it just messes things up. And so I'm, um, I, I, like, I like that they're having a wireless option to charge your controller. One wish for the um, DualSense 5. It already has gyro aiming in it. Make your shooters compatible with gyro aiming as an option. All right. And so a new patent, new patent, new patent with a DualSense 5. But dudes... We have tons and tons of more information of the PlayStation 5 launch and what Sony plans on doing going forward. First, this is coming from the official PlayStation blog. More information on the PlayStation 5 launch event <coughs> and that I'm going to get into uh, everything that um, um, Jim Ryan is talking about with the PlayStation 5. You know what? Um, I'm gonna do that in another video. I, I try not to I try to keep my videos around a 10 minute marker. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Sneak peek on what we're gonna be talking about next. Tons of information about the PlayStation 5 and Sony's future plans. You don't want to miss it. Make sure your your um notifications are on, you're subscribed. You want to know about the giveaway that I'm about to have? It's going to play in about 20 seconds. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Be 
become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces. Thank you.